Hey there! Welcome to Adam's Adventure, Episode 3, Revelations. This is the final chapter in the much-beloved Adam's Adventure series. I'm sure that everyone has just been absolutely dying to hear the, what happened to Adam and find out what the how the story goes, whether or not he saves Evelyn. Who knows? Let's find out. This will surely prove to be a fascinating experience, not to be missed. Do you really think we'd go through all this hassle for a dusty necklace and some copper coins? Take it away. Evelyn! No. Oh. Adam! Adam! Adam? Adam! Wake up, boy. How can you sleep at a time like this? Come on, Dad. We're searching dusty old books at 2 a.m. in the morning. Uh, can't imagine why I dozed off. Exciting, isn't it? And what's more, I'm really onto something here. After all these years of research, I'm about to prove my Genesis theory. And if you do, we can stop reading? Wow, this is really exciting. Hmm. Well, in any case, I need you to find my new assistant in the library wing. There's a book there that I need. I want to smack you alongside the head, old man. Yeah, so apparently we last left Adam... In a very precarious situation, trapped beneath some rocks within a collapsing temple. But now he's having a little bit of a flashback, a la Raiders of the Last... Uh, uh, the Last Crusade. Excuse me, not Raiders of the Last Crusade. That was kind of, <laughs> kind of an awkward combination. And I think this is the first time we ever heard Evelyn's last name, Appleby. You get it? Eve, Apple, Adam, yeah. It's... Dominus Illuminatio Mea. The Lord is my light. Ironically chiseled above a fireplace. I'm not sure if that's ironic. Well, maybe it is. I suppose it could be. Actually, rather nice floor here, even though clearly Adam is a vampire and casts no reflection. Dad, what book do you need? Book? What book? Oh, the book. My assistant knows. Just go to the library. Great. <laughs> he doesn't remember what he said just two minutes ago. He's like me, actually. We'd have a lot in common. Nice. See that the animations are still classy? Nice weather, by British standards. <laughs> actually, it's not, not all bad, the design here. Okay. Uh-oh. Someone must be getting dressed in there. Let's peek in the keyhole. Oh, okay. Apparently it's locked. And there's an awful lot of light coming in from under the door. Eh. I don't really know which side is the wing he was referring to. Do we really have to go outside to get to the proper wing? Well, if this weather keeps holding, I'd better start building an arc. Hmm. Huh. Is this really how, how you have to get to the other wing? Because that's... Oh, look at the rat. <laughs> Your daddy's got rats. But yeah, that would really, really suck if you have to go from one side of the mansion to the other by walking outside through the rain. Great. That'd be terrible. Apparently that is the case. Might contain the book my dad needs. But where is his assistant? Didn't he say that she was should be in the library? I think so, right? It's locked. Okay, maybe not. Oh, I, and I can run, of course, so I should be doing that. Quite the mansion. Almost looks like some kind of museum or gallery. It belongs to the museum. Ah, so that's how they met. Excuse me, miss. I'm looking for my father's new assistant. Most likely a scruffy old fellow, a nerdy sort of type. Probably smelling like musty old books. Well, I'm Evelyn Appleby, your father's new assistant. You must be Adam. Am I the sort of type you're looking for? Yes. I mean, no. I, I mean, I, I only meant... Uh... Oh, I think I know what you meant. Now, would you help me with these paintings? According to Professor Venture, they're the key to unlocking the library door. What? 
Great, so he has a puzzle for his own doors to the library. Brilliant! <laughs> for his own house. Ugh. Really, really, Adam, what did you expect? Why would an assistant be an old person? you think that someone who's really old would be experienced enough to not be an assistant anymore. At least I would assume so. Uh, I'm trying to get a look at... What am I trying to look at? Pillar or... Hmm. Okay, let's see. Looking at the crests above and then at the pictures. Hmm. Trying to find combinations. This is the kind of stuff you can expect. Aha, he's got a snake. I don't think that goes there. Let's see. Well, presumably that should go right here because of this, the moon and such. Music. Aha. That'll go there. And... Yeah, because of the sword, so military. Wait, this, these are kind of mixed up here now. There. That should be right. Uh, oh, wait. No, these are... There we go. Lumen, light, the enlightened ones. Ooh, ooh, uh, mushroom, antelope, the young ones. How do I win this game? No game, Adam. These paintings represent five former faculty deans, known as the enlightened ones. The library contains their private collections. Lumen is the Latin word for light, so this must be a clue. She must think Adam's a total idiot. You're not just saying that because I won, are you? You know, the sad thing is, someone like Adam, even though here he sounds like a total hey, idiot. Not so fast. How is Lumen supposed to get us into the library? Wait for me. We need to use light somehow. But th the fact is, although in the context of the game he sounds like a total bellend, <laughs> like an idiot, if you actually met a guy who was like this, with such a happy-go-lucky personality, even if he seemed kind of stupid, he'd probably be popular as hell. I mean, you know, as much as it's fun to laugh at this twit, he's probably probably be a really likable guy, actually. I'm thinking we need so one of those candles. You like games. Why don't you crack the lock? Oh. Hmm. Okay, well. Oh Jesus. <laughs> If you haven't noticed, this is this is a biblical game, so um, join in me right now as we all pray for a little bit of help here, trying to get this figured out. Oh my lord. Okay, let's see. Okay, so the innermost circle turns three, then two, then one, and I'm guessing it's the same for this. Uh, no, this turns four. For every oh yeah I guess it makes sense so this is, should be the same size as this one so ev so every turn here moves at three right this is yeah and then it's every four uh right one two three four five yeah so oh my gosh um hmm. I, if can I, I wish I could move these individually though. I'll just have to set the outermost ones first, I guess. This could take a while. God damn. Oof. It's gonna take some trial and error. Hey. That was half fiddling around, half figuring it out. That was a toughie. So now that we're locked in the library, we might as well get that book. Which one is it? I thought you knew. Professor Venture just mumbled, it will be staring right at you, and kept on reading. Um, yeah, he tends to do that, I'm afraid. <sighs> We'd best start looking. We'd best start looking for the thing we have no idea. Staring right at you. Why is my dad always so cryptic? You think that you get friggin' pissed off having a father who uses all these puzzles. I mean, that one puzzle the painting was reasonable, but this thing was just crazy. That was tough. And uh, I thought I would have had more time to explain it, but I just kind of ended up finding a solution that sort of worked. 
It's I thought it would be like a mathematical thing, but it's more a matter of how you rotate, like which which ring you rotate. You have to line them up, kind of from the outside in, basically. Okay, now anyway, uh, staring right at you, something to do with eyes, probably. Whoops. What? Whoops. Why whoops? Why why you whoops? What was the whoops about? Explain yourself, Adam. Ugh. And yeah, we won't even know if, mining. We won't even know if we find it. <laughs> we have no idea what he wants. Books about engineering. Ugh. What an old fool. What are these about? No? Nothing to say? Okay. A little bit of texture popping. What's this? Yay! Rotate the globe! Woo! If he said staring right at you, then you'd presume it's one of the first... Uh, for one of the first ones you see. There's a rat. Why do you have such a bad rat problem? Oh. Oh, look. See, there's the eyes at the top. This is supposed to be connected to it somehow. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay. I see. Uh, can I move these up? I can. Oh, God. Okay, that's not so bad. It's almost... Almost... Yeah, it's almost not that bad. Wait. But I suppose these are in the wrong order. Oh, God! Yeah, these are in the wrong order. I need this... I think. This middle one needs to be in the bottom. <sighs> it's a glorified slider puzzle. I freaking hate slider puzzles. Piss, damn it. Oh, Jesus. Because I guess he won't climb up any other way, huh? Evelyn, what are you doing? See, I suppose he won't climb up this, right? It's a perfectly usable ladder. Just do it. No, of course not. <sighs> Crap. Well, I'll probably be able to figure something out. Eventually, it's going to take a little doing. It's confusing, because here there's no obvious spot for it to slide on, yet it's able to slide. What the dickens, huh? Actually, this may not be so bad, depending. Let go down there, and this go to the top? You assume? I'm not sure exactly how this works. Hmm. Ah, okay. Whatever. <laughs> if it did the trick. Don't know why he's so goddamn picky, but whatever. Okay. <laughs> Come on, Adam, do your squats. Yeah, work those thigh muscles. The ladies love it. Just don't make those grunts. It sounds like you're trying to take a dump. Uh, is this it? Illuminati, huh? Look, I found the staring book. You could say it just caught my eye. Shut up. <laughs> it caught my eye. Seriously. That's right. I'm good looking and funny. What more can you wish for in a guy? Uh, right now, I just wish to find a way out of here. I wish you could dress properly. Oh, here we go. Here we go. And so it begins. <coughs> oh, I Adam apologize. Mitchell, putting the vent into venture since 1901. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny. The jokes in here aren't altogether terrible. It's just that Adam's. You love to hate him. It's that kind of character, really. Yeah, he wears the same. Whoop. Ouch. <laughs> Wait, what? How did you get out of there? It's called a door, Adam. You might want to try it sometimes. You just had to pull instead of push. Just warn me the next time you're going to pull this on me, okay? Don't push me around. Oh. Okay, I guess we, we should have tried the door, but we weren't able to, so whatever. Who cares about that? Yeah, he wears the same bland sweatshirt and pants for years, apparently, as does she. 
Because that's exactly what she was wearing on her expedition, which presumably was years after. Ugh. You know what? You actually smell a lot better than my dad's previous assistant. Smooth. That's kind of, well, sweet, actually. No, it's not. Uh, let's keep going. That's about the creepiest thing you could say. Oh, hello. Whoops. 